All right, really quick. <laughs> Again, I always say that. So here's a kind of overview of all the junk that I'm doing now. So this guy I bought online just because I wanted to see what they were selling. I had made a ton of Bedini circuits before, but I figured I'd just... You know, I, you know, I wanted to see what they were selling online. And it's not too bad. It's got a nice little circuit over there on the side. You know, it's got a nice coil. It works really nice. Then I bought this guy. And one of the reasons why I got this is because it had that really weird hall sensor. It has the four leads, no transistor. Oops, no transistor, just a little uh, micro USB connector for power. I actually messed this up. I, I lost the little, one of the little um, points for it, but it still works good. And so I'm going to get, I'm going to take these things out of here. Oops, let me get that guy on there. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let me just put it like that. There we go. Then these are my two maglev. This is just an old rotor. These are my two maglev systems. The one that has the extra magnet, so it has a, so it has a magnet here, 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 and then I put the extra one there to capture it. And then this was the first one I made. And I did all this out of acrylic. This was another Bedini circuit, but a round one or a horizontal and then of course I have my my Newman motors I got that one there I got this one there and then the um, the really big um, what do you call those things oh my god capacitors the super capacitors that's one of the banks I made by myself and then here's another bank that has the logic board on the top here is my my coil winder i took off the counter because the counter also had a multiplier on it which made each turn each one turn on here did about five or six turns on the end there and here's the um, the gear for it so i can always put it back and i'm getting ready to wind this coil here this is what I really wanted to show you. So here is, I've got four of, uh, let's see if I can get it down. I've got four of these. These are like two and a half inch by quarter inch disc magnets. And here I've got it on here. Now the reason I put the black caps on there and glued them on there was because there was no, I mean, it. they were a really tight fit. It was a press fit. They probably would have been okay. But this was the one, I think I mentioned it earlier, that I, I cracked it. And so by putting this on, I just printed these out just now. So by putting that on there, it should help it from uh, coming apart and flying off. And then these are my maglev rotors. There's a small one. This is one I did out of um, 3D printing. Here's the ones that I did where I um, did the resin. And then here is the big monster rotor. I'm getting ready to put this guy on here. So here's the window I told you about. I... Um, I just printed out those caps for it too. It really didn't need it, but it looks nice. And it's nowhere near as heavy as it was when it was encased in resin. But this is a lot nicer because I can just pull these caps off and replace it if I wanted to build something else. So I keep that guy over there. I got to remember to keep these magnets away from each other because I've already gotten cut many times. And here's that guy showed you the other day so I haven't had a lot of time to come out here this was one of my very first ones that I did when I 
got back into it. And I was struggling with the hall circuit I created. And um, Sky Collection came to the rescue. This was one of my very first ro um, coils that I ever made. I made this like 15 years ago. Anyway, I really just wanted to show you this guy. So this is an 8 millimeter shaft. This guy's kind of heavy. I mean, it's got all these clamps on it to hold it down. Actually, that one just popped off. Anyway, hopefully I'll get this guy running soon. Um, I think the next thing I want to do, though, is I want to wind this coil. All right.